<laughs> Remember this clown, Justin J. Pearson, who was expelled from the Tennessee State House of Representatives last week? Yes, I tell you, it was a sad day on Saturday. All hope seemed to be lost. Representatives were thrown out of the state house. Democracy seemed to be at its end. That was him pleading his case just before the vote to throw him out. And here he is back in college in 2016 before coming down with stage four wokeness. Justin J. Pearson, and I'm running for president of BSG. There are a few reasons that we're running this campaign this year. One has to do with rep <laughs> he actually sounds like a normal person. Presentation. How can we represent all voices in a conversation? I wanted to do this by partnering with organizations from the Boone Democrats to the Boone Republicans. I want to bring together different voices, dissenting voices, voices that may be more liberal or more conservative, in order that we can reach a point of sort of the radical middle. I had a hard time believing it as well. I thought that must be a different Justin J. Pearson, but it's the same guy. And now it's making headlines. Tennessee Democrats' transformation from college to now goes viral on social media. The 2016 college campaign ad for Pearson showed a casual candidate who wanted to unite liberals and conservatives. And, and I might add, spoke like a normal human being. In case you haven't heard, I've been told that I do an even better Martin Luther King impression. I have a dream that one day liberals will stop blaming the white man for all the black people's problems. I have a dream that 13% of the American population will stop committing 50% of the total murders. I have a dream that one day it'll be okay to be white. Democrats have a long history of adopting fake accents depending on which demographic they're trying to get votes from. There are a lot of states that are dealing with antiquated machines. This is Camel Face Harris sounding normal and raising serious concerns about those electronic voting machines that you're not supposed to question anymore. Right? Which are vulnerable to being hacked. Yeah. And here she is when a group of black people got invited to the White House. I think he's going to get in. <laughs> I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far. I'm proud to be a bartender. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeehaw! I'm gonna bring together different voices, <laughs> dissenting voices. A strange turn of events in Nashville, however, the expulsion of at least one of those state representatives has been overturned by the Nashville Council. He's back, but on an interim basis until they hold a special election to decide whether or not he's going to keep his seat or if he can be voted out by the general public. The same state representative, Justin Jones, spotted here standing on a police car during the 2020 George Floyd insurrection, and the local DA refused to press charges, saying that there was no evidence that he committed any crimes well, here's the evidence right there. At a bare minimum, it's disorderly conduct to climb up on top of a police car, not to mention vandalism and destruction of public property, because it's very rare to climb up on top of the roof of a car and not actually damage it. But we're living in the twilight zone when President Trump gets indicted for a non-crime. And now the Manhattan District Attorney, Fat Alvin Bragg, has filed a lawsuit against Congressman Jim Jordan claiming that he is intimidating a judicial proceeding by criticizing it. The lawsuit aims to block a subpoena of Mark Pomeratz, a former prosecutor who once led the Manhattan District Attorney's multi-year investigation into Trump by the Republican-led House of Representatives Judiciary Committee, which is chaired by Jim Jordan. Because if that former prosecutor admits under oath that the entire investigation into President Trump is a sham, that's just going to make the Democrats look even worse. Even MSNBC's Joe Scarborough disagrees with his boss, his wife and co-worker Mika Brzezinski, about whether or not these charges should have been filed. Since Bragg came forward with charges, and I, I will say again, there, for me, there wasn't a lot of there there. I know you disagree with no, me, it's just and that's that fine. But even a though crime is a crime is a crime. there wasn't a lot of there there, in my opinion, <laughs> Look at how upset she is that Joe's actually thinking for himself. 
And speaking of fake crimes, here's a mock-up of what President Trump's mugshot would have looked like if they would have taken one, but they didn't because they knew that it would be leaked and people like me would put it on t-shirts because, of course, it would be iconic. So I thought I would make one anyway. <laughs> Order yours from markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Like all of my designs, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.